Welcome to Japanese History in 3 Minutes. I'm Teacher Sat, a national government licensed guide interpreter living in Hokkaido, Japan. Today, we will take a look at two prominent monks in the early Heian period. In 804, the 16th Japanese envoy to the Tang Dynasty was dispatched. Among them were two geniuses who would shape the future of Buddhism in Japan. They were Saicho and Kukai. Saicho was born in Omi Province, present day Shiga Prefecture. After training in the rugged mountains of Tang China, Saicho returned to Japan. He entered the Enryakuji Temple on Mount Hiei and he founded the Tendai sect of Buddhism. Kukai was born in Sanuki Province, present day Kagawa Prefecture. He studied the latest Buddhism in Chang'an, the capital of the Tang Dynasty. After returning to Japan, he built the Kongo Buji Temple on Mount Koya and he founded the Shingon sect. They both studied the teachings known as Esoteric Buddhism and introduced them to Japan. Esoteric Buddhism is a branch of Buddhist teachings that originated in India. In which secret doctrines and rituals are transmitted orally from master to disciple. The esoteric Buddhism of Saicho is called Taimitsu. It is believed that Dainichi Nyorai and Shakyamuni Buddha are the same Buddha. On the other hand, Kukai's esoteric Buddhism is called Tomitsu. Dainichi Nyorai and Shakyamuni Buddha are two different Buddhas. And Dainichi Nyora is considered the supreme Buddha among all Buddhas. Saicho and Kukai, as pioneers of Japanese esoteric Buddhism, interacted and learned from each other, and finally insulated themselves due to doctrinal differences. Saicho's Enryakuji Temple became the center of the Japanese Buddhist world, producing many famous monks in later years. Meanwhile, Kukai became a charismatic figure through his social projects, such as flood control and relief for the poor. The Tendai and Shingon sects are still widely practiced and considered to be influential among the Japanese people, even after 1200 years. That's all for this episode. I hope you have found the history of Japan interesting so far. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.